Welcome to the three-part micro learning session on commercial customer scoring. I'm Mike Bevelock with Senior Vice President of Education and Content for the Credit Research Foundation. We've partnered with our platinum partner, Experian, for them to share insights and knowledge on how to proactively identify high-risk accounts within your portfolio. These sessions are designed to help you think through how best to categorize your accounts and stay ahead and mitigate high-risk accounts, especially now that the economy is showing signs of slowing and liquidity is tougher to obtain and at much higher interest rates. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to Experian. Thank you for that intro, Mike. Today, we're gonna focus on the importance of industry scoring. Before we get started, I would like to introduce our speakers for today. I'm Allison Teixeira, Senior Product Marketing Manager for Experian Business Information Services. And joining me, we have Bonnie Garrity, Team Lead for the Solution Consultants here at BIS. Let's get started with some benefits of specific industry scores. These scores help you understand the behavior of your customers within a certain industry. It helps to pinpoint for credit limits based on specific industry data. And lastly, did you know that one in four credit organizations right now are looking for specific industry analytics? Let's dive in. Some common market challenges we see, it's the ability to manage all accounts based on industry data and custom analytics. In certain industries, there's limited information on accounts and that leads to manual review. And lastly, getting the right information based on the industry with automated reviews and decisions. I'd like to turn it over to Bonnie, who's gonna walk us through why industry scores matter. Bonnie? Thanks, Allie. So industry scores are, are really important. We all know that not all industries perform the same right? There could be variations just across the industry itself, or they may be impacted by, by, by the economy in different ways. Um, so it's really important to understand industry specific information. Um, so an industry model is going to be built specifically on data uh, from that particular industry. So if we're talking about, let's say, trade information, um, that trade data is going to be specific to that industry and it's going to pinpoint the activity um, and the payment performance and the patterns within that specific industry. Why does this matter? I think it's important to understand the specific industry in which you operate um, to get better insights on the customer base and the industry itself um, and on perhaps the credit limits that you might um, provide to those particular customers. And that's all going to be very driven by the industry that you're in. Um, so I think it's important to, to try to get to this, to try to get to this industry specific data if you can. I think it's important also to understand that trade contribution or data contribution is going to be important for this type of industry score to work. If your data is not part of that industry score, um, it, it is less predictive for you specifically, but in general, it becomes a less predictive industry score, right? The more data available, the better that score is going to be, be able to predict behavior. So that score is built very similarly to the way a generic score would be built, except it's going to be specific or driven by the industry itself. So the data that's available within that industry is going to be able to drive that model. So again, it's using some of those same attributes um, that you would expect within a generic score, um, but it's going to be more um, weighted toward the particular industry that we're speaking about. So what are the benefits of that industry score? So again, it's being built on industry specific data. So it's really diving into the very specific industry in which you deal. So that is really where it's gonna be important for you and impactful for you. Um, it's, 
another step that we could take here is, is finding a provider that also can give you consumer data. Um, certain industries especially have difficulty finding commercial data. So when blended with consumer data, so taking some commercial information along with the consumer data for the personal guarantor or the owner of that business, it's going to give you a better uh, risk profile for that entity. So blending that data together could be helpful, especially with these industry scores. And then it also helps you make targeted decisions for that uh, particular customer within that industry. Again, I think I mentioned before credit limits, specific credit limits for, for an industry um, are important as well, because as we know, and as I indicated before, industries behave differently and may react differently to changes in the economy. So what is the best way to do this? Um, again, contributing your trade file is going to be important because seeing the behavior of your customer is only going to build on the predictiveness of that score. So it's going to allow you to make better decisions and get deeper insights on your customer portfolio. Thank you, Bonnie, for that great information. Here are some next steps to get you started. Begin with simply scoring your portfolio to make more informed decisions. Contribute your data to gain deeper insights on all your customers and layer that with third-party data to really get a full picture of your accounts by industry. Lastly, there is no need to do this on your own. Partner with a third-party data supplier to help you on your journey. Don't forget, Experian will be at the CRF March Forum in New Orleans. Come to our presentation on Tuesday, March 14th at 2.15 in the afternoon. We'll be talking about proactive risk assessments, focusing on how target industry credit scoring and analytics unlock the benefits when managing high-risk accounts. And we will be highlighting CECL reserve requirements. Thanks for attending our Experian micro-learning sessions and enjoy the rest of your day.